tell me your breast milk without telling me your breast milk. Why do you want milk right now? This is not the time. five million times in the night. Um, I believe on Thursday was the worst of the week because he woke up twice. The second time, he didn't go down until like, I don't even know. He woke up at 4, 4, 10 a.m. and then he just wouldn't go back down. I would get him to sleep, but when I transferred him to his crib, he would not stay there and he just woke up all the time, so he just wanted to be on me, he just wanted to be loved and comforted, so I get it, but we need sleep. But anyways, um, we have been having great days yesterday and the day before that. Fridays, um, Thursday, no, Friday and Saturday today. He's been really good. He's just so smiley and so cuddly, huggy, and laughing, and just making all these cute faces, so I'm really glad he's feeling happy because I just want a happy baby and yeah um, I'm really glad he's just happy. So, yeah. Alright we're going to attempt <laughs> attempt to go to Target. I'm going to Target alone. I usually never go to Target alone with baby because it's just a lot <laughs> and my anxiety I ain't got time for it. But we're gonna try and go because I really need to go and get some stuff. For one, baby needs diapers and baby just took a nap, his second nap, and he's all ready to go and he's not going to be needing a nap anymore today. Um, he already ate and everything, so I'm trying to get all his stuff, like water, you know, stuff like that for him. I swear, leaving with a baby is really a lot of work. Um, it really is. Uh, living in the house with a baby has got to be the most stressful thing in the world. <laughs> Just gonna tell you that. Did you hear that? Yeah. It's very stressful, and I try my best not to get stressed out, but it's a little hard. All right, all right, hold on. Mommy is trying to hurry. I'm getting some snacks for you so you don't freak out. Mommy's just gonna bring everything. <laughs> Pops, biscuits, and a surfboard. These. All right. Wish me luck. Is this okay? I'm okay. I know. But please, let's not stress mama out. Because mommy don't need that right now. And mommy needs your stroller cover. Yeah, cover. All right, I'm gonna change your diaper. Ooh. 
Minnesota, it's like yesterday they got like eight to ten inches of, or yeah, eight to ten inches. My sister in law told me that they got that much. Some places, like in Minnesota, I've seen they got 15 inches, which is so crazy. Um, so I'm just used to the snow now, I'm not used to, to tropical weather anymore, and it's really weird, but I'm just not used to it anymore. So yeah, it doesn't really feel like Christmas. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't know what it is. I miss snow. I never thought since leaving Minnesota that I would miss snow and I would miss the cold. I miss it and I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know, it's just so weird. There's something wrong with me. I swear there's something wrong with me because why do I miss snow? I hated being in snow. I hated driving in snow. Um, I hated the winter, and I don't get why I feel like this. There's something wrong with me. There's seriously something wrong with me. So, yeah. So a little update on my anxiety. My anxiety has gotten, since leaving uh, Minnesota, I would say my anxiety has gotten about, I would say 5% better, okay? 5% better, and that's through time. It's not just like that I just got you know better. Through time, I was able to leave baby, like I, I have a part-time job now, and now that I have left baby for a whole month with you know four, you know, four hours apart, or you know, I was able to leave him, but don't get me wrong, I love being with my baby, but it's also hard for me to step away from him because I just, I miss him all the time. I have spent, you know, 10 months straight with him. Um, and I've, you know, for the most part, been away from him in Minnesota, like two hours at the most. But now that I've been away from him four hours at the most, I, it's, it's hard. And I think for every mom out there, it's not going to be easy for them to step away from their baby. I don't think for any child, no matter how much children you have, I think it's just, it gets harder, but I think it gets a little easier. But for me right now, that's where I'm at. And mentally it's really hard. And I just always think something's going to go wrong. Uh, my heart beats out of my chest whenever I leave my baby. So, you know, through prayer, I've been working with God and trying to just communicate with him, talk to him. So, that's kind of like a little update for y'all if you're kind of wondering what happened with my anxiety and stuff. So. Right. We need windshield wiper fluid. All right, we made it to Target. Didn't we? Are you having fun in your seat? Oh, here we go. Windshield wiper wash. This is $3. It seems a little expensive. All right. So we got that. Alrighty. That trip wasn't as stressful as I thought. Um, yeah, it wasn't as stressful as I thought. I think it's mainly like the drives that stress me out and getting out of the house because there's a lot of things that I need to do to get out of the house and it's, it's kind of stressful at times. So I think that's the hard part, but Target was, it went smoothly, you know, baby was in the car enjoying it, having fun. I'm very surprised. So baby, <laughs> he's almost 12 months, which is one year. And I don't know what's going to happen with myself because I'm going to lose it. I'm going to cry. So I've been trying to make him take a bottle. He usually 
doesn't take a bottle because he breastfeeds exclusively. But I do want him to try and get used to a bottle so that he can start, you know, using other cups. So I know I, I'm not ready quite yet to stop breastfeeding, but I know I do want to start weaning a little bit. But I also want him to want to stop breastfeeding because I want him to, you know, eat foods and whatever. And I want a year to at least have my body back and just get back into shape and just focus on me a little bit better and then try for a baby again. So yeah, I think, yeah, that's where we're at right now. So I'm trying to slowly introduce the bottle again. So is it yummy? Honestly, he doesn't care. <laughs> bottle or not, he'll, he loves his food. You love your food, huh? Kissing you. Jeremiah's look. Jeremiah's. Where's Jeremiah's? Look at. Where is Jeremiah's? Hoku, for the last time, be quiet. It's literally six in the morning. Hoku, come here. No, don't come here, because he's gonna whine more.
What are we doing? Can you be a little careful, please? He's gonna... Leftovers in between his leg. There we go. One more. Any more? Okay. What are you doing? Feathers there off. What are you two doing? Hoku and Zuri. Hoku Ori, what are you doing? each other what are you doing and what are you doing mm -hmm. He called you Dada. Did you not hear him? He went Dada. He knows. Our kid is pretty smart. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Stay here. Stay here. Jeremiah's. very high, like the soft, soft whisper of a butterfly. Maybe you can too. I think you ought to try. All the wonderful sounds the brown can do. Why don't you try to do them too? Turn the page and let's review. Pick. Ready? Use our favorite part. Moo, moo, buzz, buzz, pop, pop, clock. cock a doo doo hoo hoo dee 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 Knock, tick tock, knock, knock, boom, boom, splat. Last up, whisper. Is that the end? Yay! You pull down. 
I love you most. I love you best. Much, much more than all the rest. I love you tall. I love you high. Way up in the sunny sky. I love you far. I love you wide. From over here to the other side. I love you low. I love you deep. Down where the octopuses sleep. I love you huge. I love you vast. For the fun to come and the fun that passed. I love you big. I love you tough. When the path is smooth and when it's rough. I love you strong. I love you small. Together we have it all. I love you wild. I love you loud. I shout it out and I feel proud. I love you soft. I love you still. And you know I always will. I love you close. I love you tight. When you're wrong and when you're right. I love you night and day. In every moment, come what may. Because I love you with my whole heart. From where you end to where you start. The end. Yay. Hey, don't bite the book. We're not going to have it again. Yeah, I'll do All right, it's the end of the night. I'm whispering because baby's like literally next door. But it's the end of the night. And I just finished eating dinner. We had chicken alfredo. And I really had fun tonight. Christmas, Christmas event for my job. And it was really fun because I just, I love taking photos. Like, that's how you know you are doing what you love when it doesn't take much effort to do, I guess, what you love to do. <laughs> Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is when you're living in God's gift It just seems so effortless, you know the things that you know, you're gifted by God. It doesn't take much effort so it was just really fun to take photos again and I love it, but yeah, I'm here baby is down. It's 8 52 p.m I'm gonna edit the vlog and go to sleep afterwards. So I Hope you guys had a great week and a great night almost Christmas which is so weird Christmas is this week didn't we just start this month what is, what is going on but anyways um, yeah I think today was a great day and I'm ready for this next week I swear every new week comes new challenges and it's just exhausting but you kind of have to go with it anyways Hope you guys have a great week and a great Christmas and I'll talk to you guys next time.